from Facebook, happy Tuesday. If you're watching this video, chances are you're pulled by the title. A lot of times we learn about meditation, different techniques, different books, different inspirational quotes as a way to help us um, be a better way, be the best version of ourselves. In B's case, he really wanted to be a better father, be a better parent. But no matter what amount of books he read or advice he receive, advice and viewpoints from his friends, he somehow finds a way to uh, lose his patience with the people that he loved most in his life, his daughters. And the thing that I wanted to mention to you is that Hey man, what's going on? If you are hearing me, please uh, make a comment. I'd love to hear from you. So it's not about knowing because consciously we all know what there is to do. In this case, be a little bit more patient, be a little bit more loving, be a little bit more compassionate, be a little bit more empathetic around children. But the push is what we're actually being tested is when they're being a brat, when they're being unreasonable. So I'm really happy to share from the work that uh, B and I do together. He was able to uh, not come in from the place of consciousness, like, you know, hey, I should do this, but really put himself from the perspective of his kids. How are they receiving him? when he's being impatient with them. How um, the, 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 the level of stress and, and, and really trauma that he caused when he's being impatient. And the discovery that he's had from the work that we do together, he realized that when he's being impatient, when he's being impatient because he couldn't switch the hat from being a busy entrepreneur to now putting the parent hat back on is he says things that his parents said to him when he was little. And it's really intergenerational. It's, it's that, and then he would hear the same thing that his grandparents said to his father when his father was growing up. And he was able to actually see the the lineage, the, the cycle, the negative cycle, really, when, um, when he realized that. Hey, Amanda. Thanks for joining. Appreciate you. If you can hear me, please make a comment. So it's not about consciously knowing what there is to do, but because we all know what we need to do, we must do, we should do, we could do. But it's in the moment where we're being tested, in the moment where we actually have the option to be compassionate, to be loving, to be generous, and that we can actually choose. Victor Frankl, in his book, Man's Search for Meaning, I love this quote. He says, between stimulus and response, there's a space. And in that space lies in our freedom and growth. And in that space, B was being tested what options he wants to pick to be the loving father that he wants to be. And it's, it doesn't require any kind of effort to be reactive, to lose one's patience. And from the work that we did, he was able to actually lengthen that space. Lengthen, lengthen that space so he didn't have to react to the unreasonable requests, to the tantrums, to uh, little uh, negative comments that his children make. And that little space allows him to be a better parent, allows him to, to, to bring forth the love that he wants to bring to his kids. And one may say, Wow, this is a small victory, but what has he actually done?
for his kids. But I would argue that if you want to wholeheartedly be a better parent, it starts with a small step. The journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step. The journey of being a great parent starts from that micro moment of choice, of choosing to be a little bit more compassionate, a little bit more loving, a little bit more patient. Then from that point on, then you can start to build from that foundation. So I'm curious to know uh, your point of view, Amanda, since you're watching. Um, what is your take on ways to be a better parent? Ways to show a little bit more love, show a little bit more compassion, show a little bit more empathy. If you're watching this, I'd love to hear your thoughts around this. Okay, I, I will continue then. So in that space, that gives us options to pick the best tactical uh, ways to take, to react, to, 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 to choose, to, to take a different path. And it's easy for us to, um, I'll use a spiritual term, uh, to, to, to be ego against ego. You shouldn't do this. You shouldn't react this way. You should do something, uh, choose a different path, right? Um, you shouldn't have a tantrum. You shouldn't complain about your sister. You shouldn't um, do certain things that you know that, they, that you want to bestow onto your kids to be better human beings. And I would argue that they're watching you as a way to model their behavior around other people. So I'm really happy to hear that from the work that we did, this made a difference for him to really fulfill on the intention that he wants to be a better parent, to lengthen that space, to pause a little bit before he uh, say something or do something. So if you're watching this, my invitation for you could be, my, my invitation for you is to, as a way to lengthen that space, is to take a couple of breath before you say the thing you want to say or, or uh, do the things that you want to do around uh, your kids. Obviously, I'm not a parent, so I don't know exactly what that is like, but I do know, I do interact with other human beings, and I do very much uh, appreciate the intention to be a little bit more patient, a little bit more loving, a little bit more generous around unreasonable requests, around um, because I do relate to other people. So I'd love to hear your thoughts and if, this, if you would like to hear a little bit more about the work that B and I did together, I'd love to talk to you. So send me a message. Chat soon. Take care. Bye.